Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. We will learn how to connect a NeoPixel Strip 8 with Arduino. So let us begin. So for this, we need an Arduino Uno, a NeoPixel Strip having 8 NeoPixels and a few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So over here, first of all, we will connect this in pin of it to this 5 number pin of this Arduino. We will connect the 5 volt power supply of it to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino. And this GND pin will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino. So in this way, our NeoPixel strip having 8 NeoPixels are connected to this Arduino. Now let us see our code. So this is our code. Over here, first of all, we have included one library for the NeoPixel. After it, we have defined the pin number 5. This 5 represents the pin number of this Arduino to which this NeoPixel strip is connected to it. After it, we have defined one more variable 8 to 8. This n represents the number of NeoPixels in the strip. It is 8 and hence we have defined this n variable to 8. Now, the strip function will take three total parameters. First is the n, the number of the NeoPixels, the pin number of the Arduino to which this NeoPixel strip is connected. And this new G, uh, new underscore grb denotes the grb color code that is green, red, and blue. Along with this new pixel frequency, the, over here it is 800 kilohertz. Now in this white setup function, we are beginning the strip. And in this white loop function, we are using three variables to generate a random number from 0 to 2 double 5. After it, we are using a for loop which will run from 0 to n minus 1. So over here it is 8, so it will run from 0 to 7, so that the all the LEDs over here, the NeoPixels, will get a color. Now, uh, this is the set pixel color. It will take these parameters. Uh, this I means the first NeoPixel. It will get a color code that will be generated randomly using this random function. After this, this show function will show the color in this new new pixel strip and this is our delay function that takes time in milliseconds so over here we have used 50 milliseconds and this is our now if the i is equal to n means the i is equal to 8 means over here till the last one we have reached then again we will initialize the i with 0 and this way our code is now let us see how actually it will look like so for it i'm clicking on start simulation as you can see over here, how beautifully it looks. Different color codes are generated using this random function and it is shown in this NeoPixel strips having 8 NeoPixels. So in this way it will look like. Thank you.